So I want to show you how you create your own custom DV360 panorama format with your own fonts. First of all, you just create a panorama. You open the Add Canvas, select the format, we just take one, and then, important, we click on Preview. And there in the browser, we click Context Menu, right-click, and then go View Source. So unfortunately, I have a German browser here. Save Page As, and give your HTML name. Save and Downloads. Good. And then we open the downloaded page in our favorite HTML5 editor. Or could be any text editor. Who can handle HTML? So I was using Atom here. What I'm doing now is, of course, it's minify the code. I am um, open a beautifier. That's an extension that I was using here, an add-on. And after a few seconds, you don't need to do this. It's just now for better overview what we're doing here. So here it is. We add some custom CSS code here in line 13 after the style, which is font face where we define our own font family. Now I'm downloading a font from Google Web Fonts, which is actually not needed. You use your own font here. I'm just downloading it here as an example. We downloaded Nurco 1. I opened the zip. And there is our font now. And I need to have this font in our assets folder. I've already prepared it here. You see the line below, assets. And I'm dropping this now in my assets folder. There's another font already inside. Uh, but I don't take care about that now. That was just from a previous experiment. So I put this font now the name NERQ1 regular TTF into my CSS code and now because of Roboto is the font predefined in our panorama format I have to replace all of them so link to my own custom font I've named it my font before so it's easy find it again Roboto condensed replace with my font and again and again What you hear behind is my cat scratching on the door because she didn't accept that I'm closing the door to have a better. <laughs> okay, so now here is the last one. This is uh, our link to our web font. We don't need this anymore. We can save this uh, file load here. Good, and I save the file. And that's it. Good, overwritten. Now I pack my assets folder. Well, actually, I should replace the other font, but uh, the assets folder with my Nelco one font and my custom panorama file as a zip. I name it my custom panorama so that I can find it easier when I go back to DVC 60. So this is what are we doing now? Going back to DVC 60. I cancel the previous opened file, and now I go to creatives and new upload HTML5 or image because I create my custom format here. I name it my custom panorama. I upload a zip file. So that's now, now let's cross fingers that it worked. That's opening. No error message. That's good. Where we can use actually all the formats here. The custom code is the same. So I'm uploading some images to see that everything worked fine. The background image now at the assets for the second panel. And the third one, the umbrella for the third panel. Let's change some sources, uh, some colors here. So the secondary color is the color of the panels, which was blue. Now let's have a white background, that's good. The primary color is the font color. And here you see this is our font, Nerco 1, and everything worked. So my cat made it into the... Why did you open?